Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. I'm Brandy, if you're new here. You are about to see my first Azure Standard Order that I picked up a little over a week ago. Actually, I picked it up on Valentine's Day. Is that a week ago? That was a week ago. Okay, a week ago. And I'm currently in our office, homeschool storage room. Um, this is the quietest place I could find to film this. So when we got home uh, and we started to put the video together, we realized that while I was in the car filming at the pickup site and talking, my audio cable was not connected. So I really couldn't use any of that footage. So I was just gonna fill you in on how the pickup went. Um, like I said, it was my first time, so I didn't really know what to expect. I got there about 15 minutes prior to my pickup time and everyone had already kind of picked up their things. So, I mean, there was maybe one or two people there. So I guess you need to get there pretty early, earlier than the pickup time. And we met in a McDonald's parking lot right off the highway, um, the big the big 18 wheeler. And they had everything really organized and in piles. And our pile was a pretty good sized amount of things with my name by it. And so I brought my son Isaiah with me and we put everything in the truck. And a funny thing happened when I was doing that, there was a gentleman that was just driving by and he was really curious about what we were doing because we were just taking things off an 18 wheeler and putting it in our car. So he was all, hey, ma'am, what are you doing? So I just was like, well, we're getting some organic foods. So he kind of looked at me like I was crazy. So that was kind of funny. Um, the only thing I would say that was kind of strange if it's your first time is there's no paperwork. You don't sign anything. You don't really look and see. You don't really have any knowledge of what's in your order or what isn't in your order outside of the emails that were sent to you. So, and everything's boxed up. So I didn't, wasn't really able to check um, until I got home, but everything ended up being there. So, this will probably be something that we order once a quarter or maybe twice a year. I think the oats and things like that are gonna be things that we won't need to purchase more frequently. I did buy a big block of cheese that I have not opened yet. Um, so we'll kind of see how that goes. And if I, my understanding is that there's not a minimum order. Um, so, if there's some of the gluten-free things that I liked, I may place a small order more frequently. But overall, the things that we've tried, we have really liked. We really liked the dried mango slices. I made um, steel cut oats with the homemade, or with the raw coconut, and it was so good. So we all really liked that. Okay, one more thing. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below. And if you order through our link, we get some money towards our next order. So if this is something that you would like to try, that would be a really great way to bless our family. So thank you in advance if you end up trying through our link. Okay, we're back home and we got it all unloaded on the table. So I will show you the big bag, bulk bags first. This, let me see how many pounds this is. I think it's 40. Yep, 40 pounds. This is an organic fertilizer for our flower garden and vegetable garden that we're starting. And then this is a 25 pound bag of gluten-free rolled oats and then I have a 50 pound bag here of organic oats and then one more big bag on this side this is ground diatomaceous earth for the garden this says it can be mixed in with animal feeds but we're going to use this as like a natural pesticide in the garden and then over here, I have these oxygen indicators for long-term storage. And then I bought 12 Gamma Seal lids for my food storage containers. So that's all the big... Okay, 
Okay, so that's all the big stuff. I bought one, four bags of these 35 ounce organic steel cut oats. I'm gonna try to make some of these in lieu of oatmeal in our Instapot. This is a five pound bag of black beans. I'm going to make some of these and can some. I don't know how many, like what the equivalent this is to like a 10 ounce jar that I buy at the store. And then back here, this is a five pound bag of golden raisins and a five pound bag of dried mangoes. I thought I ordered two of those, but I guess I just got one. I know a few things were on back order that did not come. And then I got three boxes of this gluten-free manicotti, this Jovial brand. I've been able to find here locally occasionally and I really liked it. So I may actually make some of this tonight. I know we're gonna have pasta for Valentine's Day. And then I got this gluten-free egg pasta. It looks like it's kind of like a fettuccine to try that. And then two boxes of the gluten-free bow tie pasta. Um, I got two of these gluten-free sourdough starters. And then this is the whole kit. Um, I was gonna give one of these to my sister and then um, I got one regular sourdough starter for everyone else. These are some whole dates. This is one pound. And th these are flame raisins. I don't, so I had this order going for probably four months and just never actually went ahead and purchased it. So that original month that I started, I did a lot of research on what I wanted and why I wanted it. And now I'm not quite sure what my original purpose was. So I'll have to go back and kind of read the product um, information on the website. These are some mint baking chips. They're really thin and circular. Those will be fun. Then I got a bag, a bag of chia seeds and that's a one pound bag, a one pound bag of poppy seeds, a one pound bag of imported organic pumpkin seeds like this. I have no Wait, this says, oh, you make it with tea. Hibiscus petals. This is two pounds of hibiscus petals. And let's see. Some organic cornflake cereal. The wild, this is a five pound bag of this organic, or I guess this isn't organic, just a wild rice blend. And then this is unsweetened shredded coconut. These are five pounds of frozen raspberries. Those look really good. I need to get those in the freezer. And then here's some gluten-free things I'm excited to try. This is a um, bread. I think you can use this in the bread machine if I remember correctly, but it is a gluten-free whole grain bread mix. And then I got this Rudy's. I haven't tried this brand. Multi-grain bread. And then the cinnamon raisin some Rudy's tor plain tortillas. These were frozen. And then a brown rice tortilla from the brand Food for Life. Here is a pizza crust recipe. Then some of these Pamela's chocolate chip, chunky chocolate chip cookies. Some of these medicinal teas and herbal cold care and an everyday detox. I got these reusable food pouches for my grandson Daniel. And then these are blood oranges. I want to say it's, here's this tag. Yeah, five pounds of organic blood oranges. I also ordered apples, but they did not ship. So I guess they were out of stock. This is some Thai peanut sauce. I thought that sounded good. This is a buttermilk ranch dressing mix chicken flavored broth mix, vegetable broth, a salsa seasoning, an Italian seasoning mix, ground white pepper, and some minced onion. 
I did get a almost six pound block of raw pepper jack cheese, age 60 days. Some finely grated Parmesan cheese, this is one pound. This is for canning, a wide mouth funnel. Some, I don't know if I already showed these. Yeah, this is another bag of flame raisins another bag so I must have I think it was one of those things yep where they were out of maybe the three pound bag so I added three of the one pound bags and then this is an apple juice infused dried cranberry and then this is a huge bag of unsweetened coconut chips this will be good to add to granola and cereals and for baking obviously I'm gonna have to do some food storage containers for these things. Okay, and then I also ordered a bunch of seed packets. This is the first part of the seeds that are coming in. I'm going to double check my list and then I'm also going to make an order, I think from Johnny Seeds and MI Gardener, but I'll show you what I got here. I'm excited about it. Okay, so we got some cucumber and small mixed gourds. These on the description kind of looked like the gourds that you decorate with for fall. Some zinnias. I think I ordered a few different varieties. I think a few of them were out of stock. Um, some Walla Walla onions. This says cherry tomato seeds, Roma tomatoes, jalapenos, honeydew, some more, these are hot jalapenos, and then some broccoli, small sugar pumpkin, some scarlet carrots. So I think I ordered, if I remember right, so this is another jalapeno, um, ones that matured at different dates, and that way we would have kind of a harvest throughout the whole season. I think that's why I did that. Yeah, there's more zinnia seeds, cilantro, asparagus, jubilee watermelon, some spinach, snow peas, oregano, kale, another asparagus, some sugar snap peas. I think I did. Did I show you these? Yeah, I showed you this and then this cabbage. Okay, so one interesting thing to me about this is there were some things on back order. They did adjust my price that I was charged on my card, but there was no paperwork with this pickup order. And so I think I'm gonna go back through and just double check and make sure that I didn't miss anything because they were just piles um, out by the big truck at pickup so I think most of the stuff is here but I know like with the produce and everything there were a few things that were missing so the next step for this is I'm gonna have to buy some glass jars and some storage for some of the things that are just in plastic plastic bags and I'm thinking this may be something that we order once a quarter or twice a year um, outside of the produce unless they have a really good deal on the produce but I think the produce has been kind of hard to come by through this company so okay well that's it for today thank you so much for watching and we will see you in a couple days with the next video thanks so much Bye bye